Hi guys, this is Subifly. Today I am unboxing a Lenovo ThinkPad E530. So I had a 430 the other day. Um, I just didn't have a chance to unbox that. I, the user needed it. So didn't do any unboxing. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the E420. There's not much of a difference except third gen. Um, you know. CPU, etc., etc. So this one's E430, uh, E530. Um, this one we picked up uh, due to the full keyboard. NT, E530, battery, power cord, and that is it pretty quite simple now I'm trying to switch right now our office has um, we all run Dell we're a Dell shop but since um, we've been having a terrible you know experience with Dell we want to go in and start switching into ThinkPads for business lines and keeping them standard So let's go ahead and jump into this right away with the rubberized feel. It's so much easier to hold on to. Oh man, it just it's just you know it's not the prettiest thing. It's still thick and stuff like that, but it's it's quite durable. Um, the rubber just easy to hold on to, and it feels good to hold on to. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into um, going around it really quick. But I'm gonna slap on the battery. USB, uh, I think, I believe this is USB 2.0 with power capability. You have to either turn that through in BIOS or and, and also in the Lenovo the software. And there's your headphone and a microphone jack. You still get your CD drive, DVD drive, um, your Ethernet. Uh, this is a 10 by 100 or actually the gigabit Ethernet. Your power cord. Nothing in the back, and that is your battery. In here is your vent, the other side of the vent. There's a VGA connection, and you get three USB 3.0s and an HDMI, a full HDMI. Um, Lenovo does sell a um, USB 3.0 docking station. And what's the it's beauty about it is that it's universal. So the problem that we're having with Dell is that they create a docking station for each of their kind of their line so after three years you upgrade or you do a refresh of the technology and the problem with that is that you also have to refresh their docking station but well, moving forward with the Lenovo's what they did is they have a docking station and I'll also do a, I'll review on that as well um, that is universal so you can change in different ThinkPad lines or whatever as long as it's USB 3.0 which is coming becoming standard hopefully and in the next, uh, the, by the end of this year, uh, you'll be able to use a docking station. So you're not just stuck with just the, you know that docking station. So here it is. Here's your keyboard. We um, this is the E530 with a full size keyboard, especially if you have someone that does a lot of 10 key. And again, this is for like accounting. You, you know. Um, anything you work with numbers and you do a lot of tankies this is a great laptop for that for great size um, is, is you can see the mouse pad perfect size these things I think this light lights up or the other side lights up um, Windows 7 uh, Core i5 now I've I could probably upgrade this Windows 8 but the way we're gonna use it for we're not gonna do that um, Here's your fingerprint reader. It's probably going to help us uh, down the road. Maybe not. Um, so it does not have a lit keyboard. So it's not really such of a problem. Uh, it's mostly going to be dark at the office. But if, we, if for a student, that might be an issue if you you know stay up late or do some homework or whatnot. Um, then 
you know, a lit keyboard would be more beneficial for you. But, you know, uh, it's the trade-off. But I believe you could get the one with a uh, lit keyboard as well. It is spill-resistant keyboard, which is perfect for users. Um, you get a full-size keyboard, and your function keys are actually by function. It's not by the default functions anymore. That controls all your, uh, um, you know, other other features and buttons. I love the uh, eraser head. It's just more precise. The mouse pad is big. So if you prefer, prefer that, your page up and down is here. So it's different. It's not your normal uh, ThinkPad um, keyboard. I'm going to show you which one. What I'm Sorry about that. So here is my X220. Uh, you can see it's small, um, way mo way much bigger. But the keyboard is quite different now. It's not the normal keyboard what I was used to. Um, and what I've loved, what I've loved um, with the ThinkPad, with these ones, they have kind of a what do you call it, chiclets or whatever, with a smiley face. Um, but it actually has a good travel, um, you know, space and feedback on the keyboard. So not much of a difference. I actually did a good job on this. So I think my user is gonna love this overall might not be the prettiest but again it works another be another beautiful thing is that the uh, screen is a matte screen so there is no you know glare or anything like that so that is uh, perfect for um, business use so I'm glad they're bringing back matte um, screens not those glossy screens a MacBook Air has a glossy screen you know, may have a big window in my office. That's that's an issue, um, but I'll make it work. Turn my desk around, and you just make it work. So, um, other than that, good solid feel. That's pretty much what you get on the E530. Um, I will do more of an in-depth uh, review, um, following up with this, um, and see how it well for how well it does for work off, uh, you know, gaming, but. If you've seen the E420, um, you know, probably not best for gaming. This is used for for pretty much office work, you know, daily use. And I forgot to mention there's a memory card reader. So that is the Lenovo ThinkPad uh, E530. Again, this is Subifly. Thanks for watching.